Shalom. I want to give all the honor and praise to Yahweh Bahashem. Yahweh Shai Bahashem Kakdash. Double honor to the elders of Great Millstone who taught me his truth. A sincere Shalom, Labakariam, Shah, Yasharala. That's peace to the hopeful election of the nation of Israel. What I said in the beginning is the Heavenly Father's true name, Yahweh, Yahi, Hawa, is or existing. Yahweh Shai. Yah, he, Hawashai is the deliverer. He delivers or he saves. Bahashem in the name of. And that's what we pray. Those are the names we believe in through faith. Now, before I get into this real quick, uh, something happened to me this morning. You know, um, I was on my way downstairs into my kitchen this morning. It's about maybe 430 in the morning, you know. You know, you keep your house pretty dark around that time, but you're familiar with your with your with your home, so you're moving around. And uh, I go into my kitchen, you know, and there's a tag on the floor. I don't know if it's spilt over from the garbage or whatever. You know, it was a pretty large size tag. It's about as large as my um, my hand. So I'm looking. I'm looking on the floor. Was this? I almost stepped on it. So I cut the light on and I go to pick the tag up. And what was on the tag was the word reset. Reset. That was in big, bold letters. So I don't know if it was Alfred. You know, I have four kids. So I don't know if it was Alfred, one of my kids. Boy, they threw the tag and it fell out. But I, I, I took that as an omen. Because our Heavenly Father, based on 2 Peter, the third chapter, we look for new heavens and new earth. He's about to reset this joint. So I took that as a serious omen about four something in the morning. You know, four represent mercy. So, Akim, Aqua, get ready for the reset, but not the reset of the elites. The Lord about to reset this joint, man. All praises to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Bashim, Akakudash. But um, you see this guy here, this is... um. Tate, right? You know, he's all in the news. Andrew Tate, you know, um, for his antics and his speech and his rhetoric and him and his brother just recently, you know, allegedly was detained. Well, were they saying, you know, he's, you know, the, the this was the, the feds, you know, I saw the video do another uh, stream that I follow. They actually went in with a SWAT team. You know, look look pretty heavy, but they brought him out pretty peaceful. You know, and as you can see him in this picture here, posing, and you look at his hands, he has the picture, he has the pose of the woman's VJ. And you know what that represents. They say it's the diamond, but no, it goes back to the queen of heaven. So everything that they setting up, because uh, this is Wuhan, you know, I was surprised that this news channel went this far, but everybody's juiced in, you know, and you know, the small has control of the media. So this, this, this uh, actual segment right here was just based on slandering, you know, Andrew Tate for his rhetoric on the Internet and saying how it's affected. We talking, they went high with the numbers, 20, 30 billions of young men has been affected and intoxicated by his rhetoric and how the internet needs to be controlled, social media, free speech. What are we going to do with all the other clone Andrews out there? So they're going to make a move. They're going to make an attack to shut down this internet. And that's how I looked at this segment that they spent so much time because they control these machines. We do something about the woman, they take it down immediately. Medical misinformation. How do you allow a man to get 20 billion views unless you're controlling the narrative? So this whole Andrew Tate thing is going to be a reason for the Heavenly Father, because it's all Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, to bring in the famine of the world. He's going to shut down these machines. They're going to control like they did with the V, with the C19. You can't say anything. You can't find any information about it. 
Because you, 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 see, you, see, you see his pose, the same pose that Kyrie Irving had, the same pose as Kanye West. Kanye West. <laughs> they all control opposition. What is control opposition? The best way to control the opposition is to lead it yourselves. Quote it. Lynn. Control opposition is any person or organization which appears to be on one side, but is secretly working against the interests of that movement. Originally coined to describe government agents, government, I believe this guy Tate is an agent. I believe he's an agent and that's going to push for the taking down of the free speech through social media, which is ultimately going to lead to the famine of the word. Because who's the main one bringing up the ins and outs of the woman and her pact she made with Satan in the garden and that they run together? The true prophets of the Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah. Basically, Great Millstone. So this guy, from what I'm seeing, he's an agent, man. So it says, originally coined to describe government agents who would um, infiltrate activist movements and subvert them from within. The term has come to describe any activist or organization that isn't actually working for the side they claim. Control opposition could be directly controlled by or in contact with a government opposition. But they could also merely have an agenda aligned to the interests others than their stated cause. And I and I say that because when you look at this video, he pushes himself off as the first trillionaire UFC boxer. I don't know many UFC boxers that come out of that world that obtained the wealth he's obtained in such a small amount of time. Follow the money. Follow the money trail. Where's all his money coming from? All these fancy cars, these houses. They locked him up in Romania. One of his houses in Romania. This guy's from, um, from Britain. Where's all the money coming from? What is going on? And if you worth all these billions of dollars, why would you even risk... You know, a stain like this on your reputation and your businesses just based on showing your masculinity. Because the statements they bringing them up on is just saying the truth. Women belong in the kitchen. Women are the, are the weaker vessels. Yada, yada, yada. I mean, come on. Why would you risk that if you're worth so much in your reputation? If you if you're worth all these billions, that it just don't make sense. Unless <laughs> you control opposition. And that's what I believe this 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 guy, Mr. Tate, is. And that's why this scripture right now, man, this every time I read the scripture and we looking at what's going on in the world, it becomes more and more vivid. This is 2 Corinthians 2, verse 11. KJV on the left hand side. Least Satan should get an advantage of us. For we are not ignorant of his devices. Now let's read it in the NLT. Right hand side. So that Satan will not outsmart us. For we are familiar with his evil schemes. And I believe this guy's part of the evil scheme. He's part of the program. And you can see it right there. You see the pose. And when you look at his hands gestures. Let's go back a little bit. In this video. You know watch his hands. As they arrest this man, sexually assaulted, watch his hands. It's as reprehensible as get into the car, as everything. Plus, he has now been arrested. According to reports, State was taken into custody alongside his brother and business partner. This was all part of a probe into human trafficking, organized crime. Let me see. If I catch it. He. As soon as he get in the car, that's him. He enters the vehicle. They got the camera right smack dad in his face. Now watch this. He's arrested. Not before he look, he throws it up. 
Now, supposedly, he got the cuffs on him. As soon as he gets in, he throws a camera smack dad. They knew how to get his face, everything. The guy don't look worried. He looks like he's doing his job. He had influenced millions. Brainwashed young teenage boys into following his dangerous brand of misogyny. Tate denies all allegations. Yo, watch you it see, again. Andrew Tate had millions of followers. Look, on look, 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 look at the hands. Look at the hands gesture. You know what that one hand folded over the other hand mean? He was earlier banned from Twitter in 2017 at the height of the Harvey Weinstein. Look, more allegations. hand gestures. Look. The guy's, the guy's juiced in, man. He suggested that women should bear the responsibility for being sexually assaulted. Look, I know. Look at the hands. It's as reprehensible as it sounds. You may remember him more recently for his spat with climate activist Greta Thunberg, where he flaunted his wealth. He has now been banned from all platforms, but a little too late. His sickening views have been shared, liked, discussed in classrooms, and young boys are speaking in his deplorable language. His brand of toxic masculinity, his bitter, poisonous diatribes about women, they got enough airtime on social media. The former kickboxer influenced millions. He made offensive remarks routinely. But social media gave his toxic views a platform. So See that? Social media. So all this is going back to social media. So what are they going to say? We must control this social media. Look, man. This is, this is the year of all prophecies being fulfilled. What's another prophecy? And you know what's going to happen when the Lord remove his men from the streets. When the Lord remove his prophets, his true prophets now, you know who you are. You sincere Akim, you know who you are. Once you get removed, you know the word of that prophet is coming to pass. This is about to be a serious year. This is Amos 8 verse 11. This is about to happen. Behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, that I will send a famine in the land. Not a famine of bread, nor th a thirst of water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Where do we mainly hear the words? Where am I on right now? This machine, this social media, this outlet. This is in the scripture, Psalms uh, 19. The line spread throughout the, uh, the, the, the earth. The net is spread. The heavens speak of knowledge day and night. Uh, second Ezra 6. The word is spread to the firmament. We should all see together, you know, um, just power phrasing. Romans 10. You know, the, just, so, but, but, but the Lord has a time when he's going to pull his word back. That's why you, you so-called Negroes and Hispanics and Native Indians better get it while you can now. You are the Hebrew Israelites. This all is happening because of the great awakening, because of you. The Lord is stirring up the spirits and the elites are afraid. So they send in gods out here. They, hey, they got to make a move. So they send in animals like this. I, I mean, I just don't believe, I, I just don't believe they taking him down because they put him up. They control the media, man. Just like, I believe Kevin Samuels was juiced in to a certain extent. I believe he was juiced in. That wasn't sincere. They just didn't come up, do brick and mortar and make it to this, to, to this level. They was pushed up there, man. Those small hats own all this. They got to give you a pass. So the Lord says, but of hearing the words of the Lord. So that's going to be the famine. You hear the word faster. Knowledge shall be increased. Then you swell through the social media, mainly YouTube. This YouTube blew up so that the elect could be sealed. Call on Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shah, Bashim, Yahweh, Kako, Dash. Dwala Abba, Yahweh, Dwala Abba, Yahweh, Shah. And they shall wander from sea to sea and from the north, even to the west. They shall run to and fro to seek the word of the Lord, which is Yahweh, and shall not find it, man. Why? Right, because the Lord going, yeah, this is one of the prophecies that's going to be fulfilled. When this thing fold out, the men going to come off the street corners, too. It's time. Yeah, I just wanted to bring that up. That, you know, this was on my mind earlier at work. I saw this. I said, man, 
I, I, I see what's going on, man. We see we men of the Lord. The Lord shows us this. Because I don't believe this whole story. This is a psyop, man. Just like that thing with that NFL guy. Number three from the Buffalo Bills, man. The thing is a psyop. Bread and circus. Remember that. Bread and circus to divert you from what's going on at hand. They running a ceremony, a ritual right before your face. But the hopeful elect, man, we won't be. I'm going to read it again. Our eyes are open, man. 2 Corinthians 2, verse 11, NLT. So that Satan will not outsmart us, for we are, are familiar with his evil schemes. Giving all praise and honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh, Shah, Bashem, Rakakudash, Shalom.